Yat e the Jonathan is an Hitler Navajo Nation president. A she ain't she don't cut ne sunny, but she's cheap. To the cheney, that's a cheat or trachini, that's another. Aro, the nash in the for fillionaires, a trapando, tis a thunny yes chin, do not create an aid of a cheat, do I aid of another. On January 11th, the Nez Lizer administration issued a proclamation recognizing the month of January 2022 as Navajo Nation Human Trafficking Awareness Month. The proclamation reads, the Navajo Nation recognizes the month of January 2022 as Navajo Nation Human Trafficking Awareness Month to increase human trafficking awareness and prevention to protect our Navajo people. During the Navajo Nation Human Trafficking Awareness Month, we affirm our commitment to reunite, heal, and restore Navajo families and to end human trafficking in the Navajo Nation. Whereas trafficking in persons, also known as modern slavery or human trafficking, includes both forced labor and sex trafficking. Human trafficking represents a threat to peace and security for all societies, including the Navajo Nation. And whereas by some estimates, as many as 24.9 million people, adults and children, are trapped in a form of human trafficking globally, including the United States. And whereas we acknowledge that increased awareness and education is crucial to understanding and eliminating human trafficking within the Navajo Nation. And whereas we have compassion for the victims of human trafficking and commend the individuals, organizations, and government entities dedicated to combating human trafficking. We also call upon businesses, organizations, communities of faith, families, and all individuals to observe this month with appropriate activities aimed at preventing human trafficking. Now, therefore, I, Jonathan Nez, President of the Navajo Nation, and Myron Lizer, Vice President of the Navajo Nation, do hereby proclaim January 2022 as Navajo Nation Human Trafficking Awareness Month in coordination with the Na National Human Trafficking Awareness Month. Signed on the 11th day of January 2022 by myself, the President, Vice President Myron Lizer, First Lady Fafilia Nez, Second Lady Dottie Lizer. The Nez Lizer administration continues to prioritize the safety of Navajo women, children, elders, and vulnerable population. Human trafficking is a serious issue worldwide and for indigenous peoples. It affects all populations, including adults, children, men, women, and all ages and economic classes. Anyone can be affected by these dangerous crimes. So it is important to learn more about human trafficking and to begin educating our children to empower them at a young age. The Office of the First Lady and the Second Lady, along with several partners, including Taisha Wood, a former Crimes Against Children detective, Yolanda Francisco Nez of Restoring Ancestral Winds, Thomas Aliberti of New Mexico, U.S. Attorney's Office, Matthew Holgate, a student of Vanguard University, and our very own Navajo Nation Division of Public Safety, will be providing presentations aimed at preventing human trafficking this month. These events will be posted on our social media pages. We invite all individuals to be a part of an important movement to protect our families and our communities. Now we'll turn the time over to the First Lady of the Great Navajo Nation, Fafilia Ness. Yate, um, from the Office of First Lady and Second Lady, uh, we'll continue to partner with uh, several organizations and institutions to host a variety of educational and informative sessions throughout the month of January. On Wednesday, January 19th, from 6 to 7 p.m., we'll be partnering with Restoring Ancestral Winds 
and they'll provide a webinar, um, a review of the types of trauma Diné experience and provide a framework of healing from Diné scholars, healers, and knowledge holders. On Friday, January 21st, we'll have Matthew Holgate uh, give a presentation and he'll provide general human trafficking 101 information with an emphasis on a message to youth. Wednesday, January 26th, from 10 to 11 a.m., we'll have Thomas Alberti, Assistant U.S. Attorney and Tribal Liaison for the District of New Mexico, and he'll provide a session on combating human trafficking from a law enforcement perspective. On Friday, January 28th, we'll have Navajo Division of Public Safety um, provide a self-defense demonstration and share with you all safety tips. When we talk about human trafficking and violence against vulnerable populations, it is also important to talk about prevention. Prevention presents the opportunity to heal and restore our Navajo people. This month, let's question ourselves. How can we protect each other and how can we build our communities to deter violence? One practice of prevention is personal safety and awareness. It is so important and can make such a big difference. I encourage you all to make your personal safety a priority. Small changes and behaviors can include being aware of your surroundings, scanning the area for suspicious persons, vehicles, and or activities. Be quick when entering or exiting your vehicles. Lock your doors as soon as you enter your vehicle. Do not travel alone, and especially at night. Trust your instinct. If you feel uncomfortable, leave right away and get help. Be involved. Know where and with whom your children are with at all times. Stay connected. Periodically notify a trusted individual of your whereabouts. Maintain healthy relationships with family and friends. In terms of technology, use your location and emergency signals, which can be activated on cell phones. Seek help. Inform someone if you feel you are in danger. Be proactive. This means carrying emergency supplies and equipment, such items as blankets, flashlights, extra batteries, jumper cables, and do not disclose personal information online. Screen your friend request, make your profiles private, be careful what information you share online, especially with strangers. From the office of the First Lady and Second Lady, we will continue to be an advocate for healthy families and healthy communities. At the core, we have a focus on the home and family home environments, marriage, parenting, as well as holistic healing and restoring individuals and family units with strong cultural and spiritual foundations. In addition, Office of First Lady and Second Lady strives to highlight the work of Navajo Nation divisions and programs. It is through these partnerships with various programs and organizations that we have been able to host a variety of virtual events. There are many resources available from the Navajo Nation. Visit our website at www.nnoflsl.com or our mobile app for more information on events and our partners. During the month, we also encourage everyone to wear blue. Blue is an international recognized color to end human trafficking. On social media, we encourage you to use hashtags inadizen and hashtag ka'ahone. Please continue to take care of one another and to check on one another. Take care of yourselves. Please check on your elders and continue to wear your masks. Ahihet. Ahihet. God bless you and God bless our great Navajo Nation.